Good morning, and I hope you've been well, and this is part 61 of the Pokemon Rejuvenation V13.5 Let's Play. Set mode, no items, so yeah. So before we get into today's episode, honestly, I don't really know why I am about to apologize, but I'm going to anyways. Uh, I do want to apologize for being sick yet again. It was extremely unlucky, but what was it, three weeks ago, two, three weeks ago, something like that. I think I brought it up on um, one of the Raju videos and one of the Stardew Valley episodes that I had the uh, stomach flu with like nonstop fevers, getting sick, chills, body aches, etc, etc. That lasted for almost a week until I got better for... I want to say about a week, maybe a little over that. And then now, COVID decided to enter the ring and yeah, I've been having a bro moment and I know my immune system has got to be screeching at me like what the hell's wrong with you? How did this happen? So yeah, I really am hoping to get a few episodes pre-recorded. I know I have an episode that I still need to honestly upload. I, I I just been focusing on resting, taking medicine, and just trying to kick this thing out. But um, I really need to get the other Raju video um, uploaded and whatnot. I've been meaning to do that, but I just haven't at the time that you're seeing this video. So I'll upload that today. I know I got a Stardew Valley episode done and ready to go and i'm hoping to do another episode or two but we'll see what happens I i've been focusing on rest more than anything but um we'll see what happens but i, I really want to try to get more so back on track with uploads and whatnot but anyways before we do get started i did want to show you guys that i did go on ahead and got these guys all the way leveled up to level 60 and not every single one is fully evolved mainly because some of them do require some stones i did go on ahead to not every mineable rock area but i did mine quite a few of them to get heart scales plates evolution stones some fossils as well etc etc but unfortunately, I didn't really get... I think I actually have like one more Moonstone that I can evolve one of these guys. Probably Nido King before uh, Nido Queen. But um, yeah, I'm hoping to soon find a shiny stone somewhere or within one of the rocks so we can get this guy evolved. Uh, we got this box here that's all level 60. I believe you require a Leaf Stone, which I... I think I do have one, so probably forgot to evolve that guy there. Uh, whatchamacallit, this box here, the third one. Got this guy evolved. Got some of the new Pokemon, Eevee Train. I need to evolve this guy here. I got Mamo evolved by teaching it Ancient Power by the Move Relearner. I did evolve this guy uh, with the Nightmare Fuel, if you're curious on how to get it. You have to do the inconsistency side quest, so do keep that in mind. Uh, I did capture a Slowbro here. You can get this guy, let me, here we go, on Route 2, um, whatchamacallit, there's a bridge area, um, kind of like, you know like that bridge you cross where you see that giant like cherry blossom tree? You can go in one of the caves, surf around. I don't know if it's a low chance encounter, but I did see quite a few of them. So I don't think they're that rare, but I would say they're more uncommon. Um, I did get this guy there, but I also captured one when we get into our uh, little money um, farm thing before we get into... Um, a certain area which I will bring up as well 
a certain area that once you get into it, there is no returning back to Garen City, Terajuma Island, for a long while. And I do want to give a fair warning on that um, in just a moment, like I said a few moments ago. But yeah, most new Pokemon have been EV trained, leveled up, and evolved. There are a few that I need to still do that, but I'm not going to really worry about that right now, so yeah. Now real quick, if you want to skip on ahead, that's totally fine. I do want to give some advice for mainly new players that again are new to the game, or repeat players that may have not played this game in a minute and wants to try out the new version here. I want to give a fair warning that it's not super soon, but it definitely is coming up that we're going to get to a point within the game that you will not be able to return to Garen City, Terajuma Island, and you're just going to be locked out of that for quite a while. Not forever, but for quite a while. If there are any side quests, Pokemon that you want to capture, events that you want to do, um, certain battles that again are a part of like quest and whatnot that you want to take care of and complete please make sure you do so now or sometime soon i'll bring it up a few more times and probably right before we head on to the new area but i cannot stress it enough especially if you are trying to go about this game on the paragon route that you do do those things unless you're just trying to be different and you want to try and see the different dialogues if you decide not to do certain events and side quests if that's the case then i guess go with it that's your game um, file so go about it how you wish to do so but if you are somebody that is trying to complete and do almost everything make sure you get all of that said and done before we get to that point within the game because there are certain events certain side quests that once you get to that area you will not be able to complete it when you are able to go back to Garen City and some of the other areas so please keep that in mind a few examples just to give it to you guys um whatchamacallit um the Help Center request, Hidden Library 1, 2, and 3. We haven't done number 3 yet, but we are coming up on that. Keep that in mind that those will not be able to be done or completed once you get to the area that you'll no longer be able to come back to this area. You'll be locked out of that, and things will play out differently if you do not have those completed. It's not the biggest change in the world, but there are quite a bit of scenes and dialogues that are said and done that will play out somewhat differently, so do keep that in mind. Same thing with, um, uh, whatchamacallit, well technically it's kind of hard to miss the Rylan one, but I would have to imagine the Rylan one will play out a little bit differently if you do not meet up with him but of course that's extremely missable if you already did the valor mountain thing and didn't go and talk to him and whatnot then you you're kind of out of luck on that end um one that you can do as of now if you have not done it the april dance is what i'm going to call it that whole side quest go within amos cave rock climb down a certain path where there's like a panel and there's like a waterfall going down she will be surfing up to you, talks to you, make sure you do all of that because if you don't, you will miss out on that event and some certain dialogues with her in the future and some friendship points with all of that as well. So yeah, if there's some things I miss or worded wrong or weirdly, I apologize, but yeah, I'll give a few more warnings when we get to that point, more so closer to all of that, but I do want to give some fair warnings, especially for players that may be using this as a guide as of now, or potentially in the future, and you are trying to do and see pretty much everything that is within the game. 
I know most likely since V13.5 is new to me, I'm probably going to miss a couple of things unfortunately, but I really am trying to pretty much do almost everything that can be seen and done within this version. And then, of course, if you're doing a Renegade route, ignore everything I said. That's completely different. That's pretty much it. Alright. Enough of me rambling. Alright, time for introductions. Alon, Venom, and this... Sorry, I can't read today. Alright, time for introductions. Alon, Venom, this is Irvin. Irvin, this is Alon and Venom. A pleasure to meet you all. Hey... Where shall we begin? Is there anything you would like to know? I'm kind of confused with this whole situation. Why are you all here? I'm sure you are aware of the calamity that befell Avium, which we will be referring to as Storm 9. Yes, Storm 9. This town was founded by Spatia and Tempa, two people who are aware of Storm 9's happenings and consequences. They are aware of the great catastrophe that happened in Avium around this time period. Both believe that history is destined to repeat, so they are trying all that they can to stop Storm 9 from happening again. Again? Storm 9 is going to occur twice, I assume in the present time. That is their belief, yes. In order to prevent this, Spatia and Tempa have gathered people affected by the storm and brought them here. During their time here, they train to become stronger in order to defeat any threat. This cycle shall continue until Storm 9 happens in this time. Once the events begin, we shall return to the future and use our combined strength to stop this storm from ever happening again. Sorry, I had to take a breather. We're giving ourselves the name Storm Chasers. Fitting, right? I don't really get how becoming strong will stop a natural disaster from happening. That's the thing. We're sure people are trying to recreate what had happened. Our biggest suspect is Team Zen. Now, I want to bring that up to... I don't want to get into like theories on Storm 9, Team Zen, all that kind of stuff. But I want to put that in your guys' head. I'm not saying Team Zen is the cause of Storm 9 or wants it to happen. But those key words there, suspect. It's still up in the air. There may be some people that might be thinking, well, that's got to be it. It has to be. But I, again, have to remind people, suspect. They may or may not be trying to achieve Storm 9. They probably are, but could be something completely different. We don't know for certain. Just something to bring up there. Which is why we are creating our own team to counter theirs oh and one day i'll probably get more into all of that i just i don't want to get into theory stuff today so you were recruited to then yeah i was it happened right before zeta caught up to me out of panic i took the wrong turn and went somewhere i wasn't supposed to go i knew i was running the wrong way the entire time but i couldn't stop running that's when i met them real quick i know i went back to do um, some things with like leveling up, EV training, mining rocks and stuff like that. I did go within Amos Cave. Be careful, especially if you decide to kind of do all of that around the same time that I'm doing it um, um, at this point in the game. I kind of got softlocked. Thankfully, I can close and reopen the game as long as you don't save at that point. Um... Because I didn't go through the whole thing with Malia, uh, whenever I went lower within Amos Cave, it kind of made me go through the entire script here. And I was kind of like stuck on the bridge pretty much and couldn't move. So uh, be wary of that just to give a little heads up there. No. Dead end. The bridge is broken. Come on, Malia. Think. There's gotta be some way to get on out of here. I could try Metronome, but there's no way I'm getting lucky again. Zeta, she went down this way. Oh god. Fear not, for help is always around the corner. Huh? Who said that? Show yourselves.
for a moment. Who's there? Show yourselves. It really is interesting because I know the portal definitely is, I think it's new to V13.5. And then it seems as if their sprites have got remade and redone as well. I really like it a lot. But anyways, well, I mean, if you're playing through, um, whatchamacallit, the end of like V13.5, you kind of already like know that they've got redone, but I'm saying from like previous versions, it, they, they did look like somewhat differently, but I would say they did a good job, you know, uh, redoing that. So anyways, it's not super important. Uh, don't hurt me hurt you dear why would we ever want to do that i am tempa and this is spatia now i've always thought that i'm probably pronouncing their names wrong same with most things and names and whatnot but i've always just said spatia and tempa just to keep it simple and if i'm wrong then whoops it is a pleasure to meet you we are here to help you you are here to help me? I'm supposed to believe that. If you want to help me, then help me fight Zeta and Team Zen. They're about to be here any minute. You must have noticed time has completely stopped. How is that possible? If you can do all of that, then you can take me back to East Garen City, right? They're in trouble too. I can't let them fend for themselves. I'm sorry, dear, but that just won't be possible. You have a destiny that we must see through. I have a destiny? That is correct. We want you to come with us. We will provide a space for you to train and become stronger as a person. If you want to continue to live in peace and away from Team Zen, this is the only way. That is what you want, yes? So, if I'm not mistaken, it doesn't really matter which one you go with, because at the end of the day, how do I want to word it? It's not really like spoilers or anything like that. It's more so if you put the puzzle pieces together and use some common sense here. Um, if it is true that they can control, you know, time and space, for an example, Let's say, for an example, I'm not sure. And let's say Malia it was like, no, I, I don't want this. Oh, well, that sucks. They leave through the portal. Go back in time a few moments. Oh, hey, Malia. We totally haven't met before. Let's redo this again. Until they get a time and a version that she says, yes, I'll do it. Now, of course, either choice, you still go with them. It's not like if you say, I'm not sure if you don't go with them or if you're forced to go, whatever. It still pretty much plays out the same. It's more so like your preference on how you want to respond to them. Normally, I say I'm not sure because it is a little bit strange to me that two, you know, women just kind of up and appear out of nowhere. Nowhere, sorry. I feel like I said no in a weird way, but nowhere in this portal thing saying oh hey we can stop time and whatnot oh hey you want to go to a new space that's how i've always been with that but in some cases people want to say oh absolutely get me on out of here which is fine too either or doesn't really change too much no friendship points are added or subtracted so go about it how you wish to do so I mean, that all sounds nice, but how can I trust you? If I go with you two, then what will happen to my friends? There's too much uncertainty here. I don't know. Allow me to lay out your options then. You can come with us and train to fight against evildoers that wish to harm you, or you can stay, sorry, or you can wish to stay here and defend yourself against Team Zen in your current state. Which option seems to have the better odds of survival? This choice is yours to make. See, and that's the thing, though. They make it sound and seem as if you have a choice, but in reality, you don't. 
Because again, let, let's say for an example, well, yeah, she's being smart right here. The way you said that it makes it, sorry, the way you said that makes it feel like I don't have a choice at all. There's no way I could beat Zeta right now. My Pokemon are exhausted. Exactly. Th that's why I've always liked going with that choice because it's one of those things that it's like you're kind of like acknowledging that I, I don't really have a choice to begin with. Like, I I'm kind of in check here by you two. But, you know, every which way that I move myself, like, I don't know why I'm using chess as an example, but I'm going to. Pretty much, she's definitely in a position of just check, and there's not a lot of moves that she can make, so it is what it is. Fine, I'll go with you. That's my best option as of now. Excellent. This has to be done the right way. Hey, Crescent. Crescent, you followed us through the door. Of course, how else would I be here? Regardless, if we want to really sell this, I have an idea. Which is, I don't believe this idea will give us any results long term, but it'll save time in the short. We should fake Malia's death right here and now. If Malia just disappears, then they'll just assume she escaped somehow, and then they'd scour the entire region looking for her. How much devastation would that bring? That... Malia, give me your handbag. M my bag? Um, okay. Very good. Hey, what are you doing? I've poured blood over this bag. It's to fulfill the illusion. Now for our sacrificial lamb. When time resumes, this is what Zeta will see. In addition to that, we can use the environment in our favor. This bridge has been broken for some time, but Zeta doesn't know that. Is this necessary? I was hoping you'd be able to answer that on your own, considering what you are able to do, but alas. Now come Malia. Sorry. Now Malia, come with us. I hope I'm making the right choice here. Alan, Venom, Ren. Please be okay. I'm thinking of all of you. You know what, Malia? I have a feeling we're going to be very close. Very very close you know it's honestly like a really interesting scene overall especially like knowing things with like you know crescent space and tempo i'm not here to get like spoilers and whatnot on all of that but i don't know like it's a really interesting scene i don't know where i'm going with this all of that happened to you at Amethyst Cave? I would have never imagined it. I'm sorry. Yep, and unfortunately, Crescent went rogue a few weeks after that point. It's scary because Crescent was one of the strongest trainers we've ever come across. So strong that Spatia and Tempa were getting a little worried. I don't care how strong she is, I'm not scared of her. I'm not scared of her either, but it's good to be careful. That's a fair point, I guess. What about Spatia and Tempa? Can I meet them now? I'm afraid that is not possible at the moment. They can only appear when both space and time link up together. Okay, and that's when? During an eclipse. I see. They can still watch over us, and they can use very small bits of their power, but they cannot gain a physical form. One last question. Were you here in this time forever, or did you visit the present? A couple of times, most of them dealing with Amos Cave. What brought you there? We're looking for something called the Soul Stone. Hmm? Alon, what is it? That's the Soul Stone. Where did you get that? Looks like an ordinary stone to me. What's so special about this lump of rock? The Soul Stone has the power to hold the souls of people who have passed. Hmm. But it looks empty right now. Empty? I don't see how that would be possible, considering what we've been through and all the people that were lost in the present time. I would have thought some souls would have found their way into the stone. Perhaps there were no souls to be absorbed. What are the chances of three people consecutively not having a soul? Slim to none. Now, if you're curious on... Uh, the three deaths that it's referring to if I'm not mistaken 
I believe it's referring, or the people that it's referring to, sorry, is Kata, Professor Jenner, actually, don't no, three people. Well, maybe they're not referring to Kata. W right. Um, well, I don't know if Malia actually knows about the death of Alita's father or not. Either way, let's put it this way. Nancy, Professor Jenner, and Nim. Those are the three people that most likely that they are referring to if anyone is curious. And it's pretty important to kind of keep that in mind as well. But I'll leave it at that. Well, okay, that's enough talking for now. I'm going to meet the rest. The rest. Yeah, the other recruits. There's only one other recruit present right now. The others have gone on their own train. Two trains, sorry. Well, all right, then where's the one cannon? He's at my lab, but he's sort of a strange child. Try not to be too intimidating. Maximum intimidation. Got it. It's been a while since I've spoken to Cannon. Maybe I should visit him. Um, actually, I need you to do something else. As you could probably tell, owning an entire town is quite expensive. I'll need you to take a job at the restaurant in Kyugurn City again for just a little while. What? I just got back, but I suppose there's nothing to be done. I was hoping I'd never have to serve another table ever again. Time... yeah, yeah, time stops for no one. I'll be back later. See ya, Irvin. Alon. As for you, feel free to relax, but also know that we have rules here at the Amberid House. The rules are posted next to the stairs. Do not forget to read them. Take a peek at that then. Now, do keep this in mind that it is kind of cool to read this. All that's in here is a black notebook. There are tons of photos in the black notebook. One being of Irvin and a girl. She looks very fashionable. Rules of the Amberied House. Rule number one. Destruction of the property and its surroundings is forbidden and will not be tolerated. Rule number two. Existing members shall not reveal other members unless given permission to. Rule number three. Failure to complete missions may result in eviction and memory wipe. Rule number four. Respect your peers. And then I think that's pretty much it for the house. Besides the little Garufin symbol there. And I don't believe you can actually uh, go into that room. I don't think there's anything on the bookshelves. I guess we'll take a peek. Just in case. It's a gaming system. It looks to be used quite a bit. So I know we read the diary. Um... Okay. I assume, yeah, that's locked too. Okay, I just wanted to double check. Sometimes these games can have little hidden stuff and whatnot, so just curious is all. Oh, so you're a part of the training program. Sorry if I was rude to you at some point. I was just sort of shy. I can't really explain it. Regardless, welcome to Ambery Town. Alrighty. I know this guy does say something kind of interesting. I heard that Irvin used to have a daughter that was incredibly, was an incredible fashionista. I think she even got hired to be a designer down in Lumio City in the Kalos region. Unfortunately, something happened to her and she's no longer with us. Now what's interesting, I remember back then that they changed this and I, I'm going to safely assume they changed it to kind of um, keep some things a little bit on the low end and, and sorry for that sound there, I'm moving my 
lamp desk over. Um, but anyways, uh, not only that, I feel like they might have changed some things slightly. But back then, like he said all of that, but then I don't know where he brought up, they adorn her with like, what is it, like a red X or something like that? So that is something that was taken out. Whether they changed it or they want to keep it hidden, I don't know, but on the older versions, it said something like that. So you're here with Irvin. I guess that means you're a part of Spatial and Tempo's program. Interesting. Well, I'm only an assistant to Irvin. I don't matter much. Right, so we cannot go in there. Irvin requires members of this program to write a diary. I think it's to keep emotions from bottling up. I mean, I guess you could find their diaries in their room and read them, but is that the right thing to do? As long as they don't know, right? I would say normally you shouldn't be snooping around reading diaries and whatnot of people, but I'm going to get away with it because it's a game. Alrighty. Um, I don't really think there's... Doesn't seem to be the case. Being the region's professor is a lot of work, but it's all worth it in the end. Wow, hey there Merlin. What's the mage outfit? What's with the mage outfit, sorry. Or mag, mage, however you say that. Huh. That wasn't an insult, by the way. It's a cool look for you. I'm gonna assume mage, actually. That sounds better. Anyways, um, oh, in that case, thanks. My name is Cannon. I'm Venom, and this is Alon. We're old friends of Malia. Malia, she's back. Yeah, we just got back in. She's not with us right now, though, obviously. She had to go do something. I don't know. I wasn't really paying attention. Probably working at her job again in Kugurin. Irvin, I'm done with my studies. May you permit me to see Malia as you wish, but don't take too long. Thanks, sir. I won't be too long. Pushy. Please excuse the boy. He and Malia were very close friends. They relied on each other a lot to get themselves through a hard change in their life. Hmm, whatever. Alon, you hungry? We should check out that restaurant in Kugurin too. Meals on me, okay? So don't be late. Just a warning, be careful of the wild Pokemon, they've been quite aggressive lately. I'm sure this won't be needed, but as a precaution, I've hired a driver to drive you from Kugurin, from here to Kugurin, sorry. Weird things have been happening, I wonder if, no, I can't bear to think of the possibilities. Before we do that... There is a certain uh, thing that's about to come up, and I'm going to grab this little guy here. I, I shouldn't really call Mamo little, but you get the point. And... There we go. I would definitely recommend a ice type. Just for a little thing that's about to happen. But if you don't want to, you don't have to. Totally up to you. Alrighty. I believe... Right. Table for two. Perfect, please follow our host to your table. Welcome to La Yummy Cafe. Yum, cafe, not yummy cafe. What can I get for you? I'm gonna have the spicy curry, extra cheese, got it, and what will you have? Alana and Venom had a lovely dining experience at the La Yum. Oh man, that hit the spot. Delicious, perfect. What about you? Did you enjoy the food, or is my taste just garbo? I'm almost certain that it was excellent and awful. Actually, get you plus two. But let me double check. Because it's been a minute. 
I think we're on chapter 9. If I'm not mistaken. Let's take a peek here at the points. Yeah, it was excellent as plus two. It was all right, minus one. Awful as plus two, so you can go about it how you wish to do so. I'm just gonna keep it simple and just say it was excellent. Right, I forgot what you ordered, but the spicy curry was the best. The blend of spices was perfectly balanced. The water was perfectly mediocre, therefore staying in the range of perfect. A weird conclusion to come to as nothing can truly be perfect, huh? Oh, it's just you, Cannon. I guess you did say you wanted to come on down here. Yeah, I love the food here. It's perf- uh, perfectly. It's pretty good. Anyway, did you meet up with Malia? No, she's busy, unfortunately. Wish that Dork would have been the one to take my order. Dork? That's rich coming from you. Well, this is about to be a certified bro moment. Darn, was that a was that drag necessary? I was just kidding around. I can tell just by the way you talk. You don't take anything seriously, do you? The hell is going on here? I said I was kidding around. You guys don't belong here. You weren't chosen. You're out of place. This isn't a game. People are suffering every day and you're here acting like this is just some fun vacation? Alon, I'm gonna kick this little magician's butt if he doesn't stop talking crap. Typical. You lean on violence for everything. Silly. But I've seen real violence. Real fear. You're nothing compared to it. Oh really? Let me be so honored to show you what violence looks like then. Again with the violence, fine, I'll indulge you. For a moment. Come on out. Of course, Venom. Calm down, Charizard, it's fine. If some new players aren't putting two and two together, she stole that Charizard from the um, mountain area. The one that, um, uh, whatchamacallit. Well, I don't think I can actually say that because I forgot if they brought up that certain detail within that scene where you battle Tapu Koko and that Zard. I'll, I'll leave that alone for now because I forgot if they said that or not, but... Plain and simply, let's just keep it simple. She stole it. Having trouble controlling your Charizard? Pathetic. Are you going to stand there and be a problem too? Fine, I could take both of you without any problems. Please choose a Pokemon to participate. And this is pretty much why um, I'm bringing in Mamo. Oh, okay, one Pokemon. Gotcha. Salamence attack. I don't know why I thought it was... Oh, I guess it's just 1v1. Well, technically 2v1, actually, but... Either way. Um, I guess we'll just go for Ice Fang here. And then that's that. As long as you have, like, an Ice type, you should be fine, honestly. It can be a little bit tricky, because, again, it is a Salamence. It's level 70. But, as long as you have the right type advantage against it, it is not a difficult battle at all. Now, winning or losing doesn't matter too much. Of course, I'm trying to um, uh, win pretty much every battle within the game, because I, I think so far we've won every battle. There, there's not one that I don't think I've like skipped out on or intentionally lost. Um, most of them you have to win in order to progress, but there are a few. Um, like this one, for an example, you can lose and still continue on. And he kind of gives like a speech on, you know, you don't know, um, violent or violent. I don't know if it's like violence, but he, he goes on about something else. Um, but if you do win, he does say something else pretty much. I'll, I'll leave it at that. Um... 
I know there's some future battles. I don't want to like spoil some stuff on some of those that you can lose in order to progress, but I'm gonna say I, I don't think so. At least I hope not. Is there one that I'm? Did I? No, I I did beat that one. The Endeavor uh, team that I built for the Deathwing with you and Alita within. Um, oh, that, oh my god, what is it called? An aquarium, that whole area. Yeah, we did win that battle. That's the only one that you can lose, and technically you're meant to lose, but that one I did go on ahead and make a team to win, but either way, let me stop. Impossible. Salamence cannot be defeated. Not bad, huh? Definitely not terrible. I take back what I said before. Your fighting indicates you all have been through actual turmoil. However, that Charizard is Turret. What are you all doing? You can't have Pokemon battling in here. Venom, is that Tesla's Charizard? No. Maybe. Perhaps. Did you seriously steal her Charizard after everything she's done for us? Control that thing. Salamence Outrage. Thanks. Now that that's settled, I'm gonna have to ask all of you to leave. Leave, but... Yes, that includes you, Cannon. You instigated the fight. I... I need to maintain some kind of order around here. Let me do some damage control here. Out. All of you. Fine. For a moment. And then of course you can come on back to talk to her. I thought being back here would be a little bit more relaxing, but it's stressing me out. Don't take what Cannon said to heart. He's really troubled. Just keep an eye on Venom for me, okay? You got it. Alrighty. So you're there. I'm pretty sure... Oh, there you are. I screwed up. I need to find a way to make this up to everyone. I... It's no use. Alon, sorry I shouldn't have instigated like that. I won't let it happen again. It happens. Sometimes emotions just get high. And... Things escalate and... The important thing is reflecting on it and doing what's necessary to, you know, better yourself, better the situation, and keep moving forward. Who the hell does that kid think he is starting something like that? He's lucky Malia kicked us out. I would have kicked him right in the blank. Charizard gave me a hard time, but I'm sure it was just confused. Poor thing. Whatever. Good lunch. Turn sour. What can you do? Whoa, did you hear that? It sounded like it came from this direction. Whoever screamed like that may be in trouble. Could you come back later? I'm analyzing footprints of poke out of my way. For a moment. Alright. I kind of want to... Return you so we're out 43 minutes in okay yeah we'll go a little while longer make some more progress I'll battle you later hmm where could that scream someone help me please Okay, that was loud. They must be in the area. Someone please help me. Oh, don't worry, ma'am. We get these guys covered. We got these guys covered, sorry. For a moment. Just rock slide, go for air slash. And then we'll just go into, sorry, uh, use fine, honestly. Hey, hold up.
Whoops. You should have been Eevee trained. I gotta go and do that, actually. Not right now, but soon. And don't bother this lady again or else. You two were amazing. Thank you ever so much. If I weren't lucky enough for you all to be here, I shudder to think about it. Just be more careful next time, especially since it seems like you don't have Pokemon to protect you. You're right, this has just never happened before. Pokemon found in these woods are usually so peaceful. Uh, but where are my manners? My name is Anatha. Sup, I'm Alon, or Alon. I'm Venom, and my friend here is Alon. Pleasure to meet the both of you. Please, would you join me at my home? I wish to thank you properly for what you have done for me. Perhaps a wonderful cake or cupcakes? I am very skilled at baking. Uh, yes, all you had to do was mention the word food, and I'd be there. Wonderful. My home is just north of here. Please come forth, or... I don't know why I said come forth. She seems nice. We're, we never were able to order dessert because of Cannon having a temper tantrum. Let's go. What? Let's go see what she has to offer. Real quick, bro. Okay. All right. Sorry for the pause there, but let me. I didn't mean to get stuck on that tree. Well. Oh. It's fine, we can get this battle out of the way. Let me return uh, Bamboo back to the uh, P... Oh, hold up. There we go. Am I going crazy? Maybe it's because I'm sick and I'm it's gotta be because of that. Did I spell bamboo right? Yeah, that's how you spell it. I don't know why. I thought it spelled it wrong for some dumb reason. Okay. There you are. Alrighty, go on ahead and do that. Okay. And then I'll, I'll battle those guys a little bit later. No way, it can't be. Alan, isn't that the mansion we saw in the sewers? There's no doubt about it. It's the same one. I'd remember that place for sure. Nuh-uh. I think I lost my appetite. I'm uncomfortable. Is... there something wrong? Oh, um, no. I was just talking about your... amazing yard. Wish my front yard was as nice as this place. My, you sure have an interesting vocabulary, don't you? But thank you for the compliment. This garden means a lot to my husband and I. Husband? Yes, he's waiting for me inside. He'll probably be red as a tomato after he figures out that I left home. I don't remember her from before. Maybe this is before we ran into Indred all the way back when. In that case, do you think Marionette would still be here? Alan, we know that Indred was capable of. We have to be prepared for anything. I have your back. Do you have mine? Yeah. Thanks, Alon. Don't worry. We should be fine. And I'm almost certain that going with that is the right one. Yeah, nah is minus one. Yeah is plus two with Venom. Alright. Welcome to my abode. This is a pretty nice suit abode. Or sweet abode, however you say that. Get it? Sweet. Anyways, this place looks completely different. Maybe this isn't the same place from before. Your humor can be quite charming. Mom, Mom, are you finally home? Mom, I knew I heard you. Marionette? Marionette? Close, but the net part is incorrect. 
You know what? I'm curious. The name Nut derives from the French adjective, which means impeccable, elegant, and clean. Interesting. And I'm kind of curious. What about Maria? Seems there's quite a few things. Star of the sea, bitterness, beloved, wish for a child. Star of the sea, rebellious. The, the reason I'm looking these things up, because like, um, it, it's something that I brought up on one of the videos. Like for an example, if you look up, um, like the name like Vitus, for an example, um, it, it's, it's actually kind of like interesting. It means lively or life. If you look up um, the name uh, Zen's meeting, um, comes from the Greek word uh, Zenos, which means stranger, guest, or host, which is kind of interesting with, you know, Team Zen and all of that. Um, whatchamacallit? Well, I don't want to get into like spoiler stuff, but. I'll leave it at that. Some of the names that they've chosen and whatnot, if you kind of like look up some of their names, not all of them are like that, but some of them, it, it kind of like connects the dots a little bit on certain things. So it is kind of like neat to kind of like do that kind of thing, but I was just curious is all. Uh, this is my daughter, Maria. It's nice to meet you. What? Maria, my pride and joy, my beautiful daughter, Maria. Please, would you entertain our guest to some of your music? Okay, I got this. Here goes. Ah, uh, wonderful, bravo. Thank you, I've been practicing almost every day. I love music, Maria, and I can sense talent, and I've gotta say you've got it. Alrighty, that's enough for today, Maria. It's almost time for your tutoring. Got it, I'll be right back. Cute, but tutoring? Isn't she a bit young to be tutored? Oh, you misunderstand. Maria is the one tutoring, specifically her best friend. What? Is what Maria... Sorry, it's why Maria is so good with the piano, as mathematics and the piano overlap. You guys are psychopaths. Anatha, what is with that racket? Please keep it down. That's... Terribly sorry, I didn't realize we had guests. Now... Here's something that's interesting, and they might bring it up a little bit later, but back then there was a comment with, um, it, it's not really like, eh. I don't want to say it's spoilers, it's something that was kind of like taken out here, and there was another point within the game that it was taken out as well, um, whatchamacallit. I guess I'll say it. I, I don't think it's really spoilers. I, I won't go into spoiler territory with it. I'll just kind of mention it and just leave it vague like that. I believe back then she brought up like the whole tutor thing, but not only that, she's like, oh, she's helping. She's doing like calculus or something like that. And Venom was like, calculus? Like, that's pretty wild or something of the sort. And pretty much, you know, Maria is incredibly in like intelligent. But what's interesting is I remember it's it's a thing that I brought up back then. Uh, well, if I bring that thing up, like, mm. yeah, I just need to say some things. Slight spoilers. It's only gonna be like a minute, honestly. Um, go to the comment section, timestamp guide, and then you're good to go. Alright, so pretty much, if 
you are somebody that has theorized kind of like me um with the idea that maria is malia or in some way shape and like i'm not here to go into the whole uh theory and all of that but like let, let's say you are somebody that like can see that being a possibility and it probably is that but anyways um back then aqua marine cave played out differently than what it did on this version especially a scene with valerie there was a point where you can spend time with valerie with her and her primarina talk to her talk about you know where she came from where she used to live and school and all that kind of stuff which i kind of wish they didn't really take out honestly but is what it is it's no longer a thing well you know that's a whole nother thing i'd never even brought up i don't even know why they take that out because like there isn't a lot of interactions with you and valerie on this version specifically so feels a little bit odd to take that out but again it's it's one of those things like i'm not here to like pick on the game and whatnot at the end of it it's not like you could be you know like best friends with every single character because there are a lot of characters and valerie's probably one of those ones that you know yeah she's a friend of yours but i wouldn't say she's like my best friend compared to you know like other characters within the game that you interact with more often if that's fair to say and plus we'll probably get more into it once i do like a tier list maker video I, I i plan to do that once i complete this version by the way i got a few comments on that a while back but anyways back to the point um after the whole interaction there came a whole point where malia walked up to you and she's like oh why well, I, I tried the access high uh test and i tried getting enrolled in that school you know a while back and valerie's like oh well what happened and she's like well the, the test was fine and all of that but I suck at math. That detail there is extremely interesting. Most people may have overlooked that back then. And of course, now, if you only started V13, you would have never known that. Well, V13.5, sorry. You would have never known that interaction ever happened. Now, most likely it did change, probably because the whole like school thing and they wanted to like rewrite the story a little bit that's going to be my assumption but back then i thought it was a really interesting twist because like on one hand you know maria is extremely good at math but on the flip side malia is terrible at math it's kind of like interesting how that works i, I can get more into it I, on one of the videos very soon when we get a certain key, I really want to redo a video that I did a long time ago on the channel, on the main series of Rejuvenation. The one that I'm just going about it, how I want to, and all that kind of stuff and whatnot. I want to redo a video here, I think I titled it like Madam X's Identity, and I really want to dive more into that, but not on this video. On that video that will be coming up soon once we unlock a certain apartment door um we'll get into that but not right now anyways though vitus this is alan and venom they saved me from a feral pokemon in the woods anatha you know how i feel about you going out in the woods alone you know how people are they're savage sorry how pokemon are not people they're savage. They're not to be played with. I understand, but I promise I'd make these two desserts as a thanks. Very well then, I suppose I can allow this. Why must you insist on accepting trivialities, trivialities, however you say that, uh, as such, Vitus, Gardevoir, Anatha, you must finish your obligations first. Dessert isn't an option right now. Isn't that right, Vitus? Hmm, yes, well, if there's work to be done, then it cannot be helped. Speaking of work, I have business in town. Do you need anything? Please take Maria to her tutoring sessions down by Katsu's place, that is all. Maria, we're leaving now. Are you ready? Yes, I am ready. I'm sorry, princess, but your mother cannot tend with you right now. Okay, bye, mom. Bye, Gardevoir. I will be seeing the both of you very soon. Goodbye. 
See, man, I, I love this game sometimes, man. Not even sometimes, a lot. I love that I will be seeing the buff of E very soon. That's interesting. I like that. I am sorry, Alon. Venom, I don't think I will be able to fulfill my promise. Uh, don't worry about it. That was kind of awkward, and I wish to go. I understand. I bid the both of you farewell. Thank you once again. And then, of course, you can look around here. We're tending to the garden so that it stimulates a perfect outdoor experience. Oh, hello again, Alon. Please forgive me for not being able to fulfill my promise to you. That Gardevoir, such a horrid Pokemon, she's scary, and it's because of her that... No, it doesn't matter. That's done with. Alon, do you know the melody that Maria played on her piano? It's the same one I play on my flute. The song it's called... The song is called... The Relic Song. This song has been passed down my family for generations. Perhaps one day I can teach you this melody. Until then, this is farewell. For a moment. And then I don't think... Right. Okay. So there's that there. Access denied. Okay. Man, it really is interesting. With V12, this place looked quite a bit different than what it is now. You know, it's something that I've always wondered. And you know what's interesting? You know, it, it might be because of Anatha, or Meloetta, or maybe so, but the color green. I want to go back to, you know, the whole Ouroboros thing that we saw when I kind of like talked about that. I, I don't want to get into like spoiler stuff, but I guess I'm going to again. It, it won't be super long. I, I just kind of want to point something out here. Again, comment section below if you don't want to listen to this spoiler thing. So yeah. So before I do gotta go on this uh, rant, I understand that this is a very far stretch and a far reach, but I can't imagine you know, a lot of these details aren't intentional since Jane has done that quite a bit within this game. Giving you like these subtle little hints and stuff like that that at first glance you might not notice but as you play the game multiple times it's kind of like, wait a minute, I think this was intentional. I feel like the green represents Zygarde. Now you may be wondering, how, why? Is the sickness taking over? Are you going crazy off of the medicine? What are you talking about? He's meant to be a Veltal. Right. However, at this given point within the game, Zygarde is still a thing. If we go off the idea that Zygarde is order, right? Then that means order is still in place. Order gets eliminated during V13.5 when Varaya pretty much up and deletes ad rest. Now, I cannot 100% confirm that, but I've said it so many times that I'm 99% sure that he played the role as Zygarde. He has to. I, I can't see him playing any other role, because again, I'm not going to re-say all the legends, but I believe the 17 souls represent the 17 different legendary Pokemon, more so on like the box arts and whatnot. But, um, I mean, I guess I could just re-say it again really quickly. Um, whatchamacallit, um, Lugia, Ho-Oh, Groudon, Kyogre, Rayquaza, um, Dialga, Palkia, Garatina. 
Zekrom, Reshiram, that's 10. Yveltal, Zygarde, Xerneas, that's 13. Uh, Lunala, Sogaleo, and there's two others that it's kind of up to debate. I'm going to assume Necrozma and Kiram or Zamazenta or Zacian. I'm 99.9% sure it's Necrozma and Kiram and not Zamazenta and Zacian. I, I don't think they have anything to do with this game at all, but if you want to speak on only box art legends, it's not impossible, but it's incredibly unlikely in my opinion. But I feel that it's only fair to throw them into the mix. Anyways, deletion happens, he's gone, and well, no, no, I think, eh, no, I guess it maybe is like a coincidence because, um, because like the moment he reverts back, I think everything kind of goes, well, not in this time. Here's the thing, the whole time thing is so weird, man. I, I'm just gonna leave it at that. I I was gonna make the connection that maybe because like order is still a, a thing, it's not gonna be red or blue, it's gonna stay green. Since, again, everything's in place in order and nothing is being disturbed or disbalanced or anything like that, but... Yeah, I think the sickness is just talking to me right now and I'm going crazy. Yo, Alon over here. I'm not crazy, right? That Vitus guy was definitely Indred. Remember the guy who tried to kill us? He's walking around this time. Something's bothering me, though. He wasn't acting like the guy we knew. I don't know. Seemed almost normal besides that Gardevoir. That was totally strange. The color of that Gardevoir was different. It wasn't shiny or anything. It just eluded evil. Executed evil, however you say that. Anyway, you think we should follow him around? I mean, he's dangerous. Care to be my partner in crime for a bit? Let's do this. Hell yes, dude. We're gonna make sure this blank doesn't do anything shady. Anything said... Anitha, sorry, not anything. Anitha said she wanted to take... Wanted him to take Maria to Kugern for some tutoring sessions. That place belongs to someone named Katsu. Shouldn't be too hard to find. Yeah? Okay, we're like an hour and something in this video, so... We're gonna leave it at that. Mainly just talking and dialogue. Not a whole lot happened, but... All good, all good. Thank you guys so much for watching. Definitely do appreciate it. And I will see you guys in the next episode. Good morning.